Hello and welcome to the channel and today this video is going to be on how to use your Xenopixel V3 SD card and also add and remove fonts and also go over a little bit of the information on the SD card and the files and audio samples on there. So the first thing you want to do is uh, pick up your lightsaber if it's a model from Force Sabers when you go to access the SD card there will be a small black button this is a master reset button you want to press this once by doing that you will then be disconnecting all the power to the board if you have uh, another lightsaber that's not from Force Sabers the same uh, action would be unplugging or disconnecting the battery you best advice is to do this first every time before removing the SD card now we remove the SD card we're going to place it into the computer this is going to be a demo on a Windows PC rather than a Mac so we're going to put the SD card in the computer now the computer has now picked up the SD card which you have here and it's coming up as USB drive F now this may be different to uh, yourselves depending on what Car, uh, drives you have on your computer so the first thing you'll notice is that there are 34 different folders on the SD card and one folder called settings the first part of this video is going over the settings folder and what this contains and allowing you to have a better understanding of that the next part of the video will be going over the different fonts and how to import your own font if you wish to do so I have a grayscale uh, font uh, grayscale font here which is the noble font and I will show you how to import that in a moment if you don't want to go through all the information regarding the settings folding you can go into the description and there will be a link or a time indication to go to straight on to adding and removing sound fonts if you wish so the first thing is we're going to open the settings now you are going to see a lot of WAV files. Now something very important to keep track of and keep in mind is any audio sample that you are going to create and add to your SD card to be used on a Xenopixel V3 must be a WAV file. It will not access and it will not run any other WAV uh, any other kind of audio file like MP3 or anything like that. It must be a WAV file. The next thing to take uh, into consideration and be very wary of is when you are replacing or changing any of these audio files, if you are wanting to um, change the notification for battery level, which I will play for you now, as you can hear there, uh, it is a little quiet, I'll see if I can try and turn that up for you, and play that again. Battery level. So if you're wanting to change that audio sample, you would create your new audio sample, but the most important aspect and most important thing to do is make sure that is the exact wording used for the replacement file. If there is anything such as a space, it will not work. If there is uh, an error in spelling, if any variation other than that exact one is used, then it will not work on the uh, the SD card when you plug it back into your Xenopixel V3 it must be identical every single one of these must be identical so what I would advise is if you are going to create one then select the file select it again right click copy and then paste that directly into the new file name to make sure it is ex exactly correct now if we're going to scroll down you will come across a new um, uh, folder which is called config now this is basically the one uh, folder that communicates with the board and provides all the board the instructions that it needs to run all these audios and everything else so I'm going to open the config folder now and it might look a little bit overwhelming there's a lot of information on here now these are actually um, lines of code that the Xenopixel board is going to read and run uh, so there's another one, another one here. Uh, I'm not going to go into great deal, great, great detail on this. Um, you can see what it was saying here. The zero means RGB software. You can change the blade length. Uh, so 
for default if you have a uh, a 36 inch blade then it'd be 132 or whatever and you can change it down to whatever blade you want uh, you may want to do this because if you have a 32 inch blade all four sabers do come with a 32 inch neopixel blade then you may want to change that to the default for four sabers so it automatically works and this will be something for if you have a blade tip fire effect uh, or blade tip effect that you want to be seen the next thing is you have the volume adjustments and the uh, flash on clash. You have uh, gesture controls, you have deep sleep, so you can adjust the deep sleep, but this can be done in the app. One of the things to note is with a Xeno Pixel V3, you can connect it to a mobile phone on Android, and then you can control literally every single one of these variations uh, practically from the uh, app on your mobile phone and personally I would strongly recommend not changing any of these apart from maybe the blade length to accommodate the blade length so you would have to do it manually but again you can also do that on the app but I would most probably leave all of these alone as it's not something you really need anymore on the Xeno Pixel V2 it was something you would have to go into to adjust yourself uh, but with the Xeno Pixel V3 it's not really needed so now we've gone over that let's go back to the main folders so again we have one all, all the way up to 34 these are all the different sound profiles now it's entirely up to you what you want to do you can keep all of the 34 sound profiles um or sound fonts sorry or uh, if you wish you could delete everything all the way from number one sorry all the way from number two all the way up to 34 and just have a single profile uh, sound font on there for you it is entirely up to you which you prefer I would personally leave on the ones I like the most and I might remove ones I'm not too keen on but then again uh, you are perfectly entitled to maybe just have five of your own fonts uh, if you've got a number of fonts from grayscale uh, gray fonts um, grayscale fonts you may want to use a number of those or kyberphonics it's entirely up to you now here we're going to go over how to add a new font and how to remove the old font so you have two options and two ways of doing this the first one is you can just go to the folder you can right click on the Windows PC and you can click delete and then click yes and then that folder will be gone you would go to your gray fonts uh, grayscale fonts folder if you're on a Mac you'd use this one but if you're on this one uh, you'd see the Xeno Pixel V3 folder which is the one you need for Windows if you open this you'll have all the different uh, sound audio files that you need which is great however if you have just deleted number one and let, let's actually do that so let's say we'll delete number one so we no longer have a number one folder go to grayscale fonts go to here and you want to rename this folder to number one once that's been done just drag and drop and it will suddenly appear as number one and that now has all your new sound files for your new font the next option is you can open this folder you can select everything in the folder and you can delete it you then go back you go to your grayscale fonts found your folder and then you would select all the contents copy go back to your folder and then paste and again all the sound audio files which are all wave have now been copied over to the first folder and now that will have your new sound fonts installed and you just repeat this process with any new fonts that you have uh, as many times as you like up to 34 I do not know if it will hold more than 34 sound fonts um, for me personally I don't think you would need more than 34 uh, as that's quite a lot of sound fonts to work with but it is in entirely up to your own preference if you want to try and have more on there you can do it's it's entirely up to yourself to see if it works once you have done that you would then disconnect your oh. Xeno Pixel uh, SD card from the PC and then slide it back into the board uh, once it's back inside the board you would then either connect or oh, sorry reconnect your battery to the lightsaber which will then power the board or if it's a force sabers model you would then press the black button on the board again which is a master power and that allows the power to go back to the board 
if you do not uh, press the button when you remove the SD card what will happen is you can remove the SD card while the board still has power do everything you need to do on the PC or Mac put the SD card back in and immediately it will say SD card error so then you'll have to press the uh, reset button or the master power button uh, twice to then get it back to working. So I hope this has helped. I hope to, uh, this has given you all the information that you need. Uh, this is everything that I know in regards to Xenopixel and how to add and remove the sound fonts. As mentioned, you don't really need the configuration folder any longer as virtually every aspect of this can be controlled by the app on the phone. If you are wanting the app, then all you need to do is go to my website on your mobile phone, go to the Crystal uh, Chamber Reveal chassis or the Crystal Chamber section or even the NeoPixel section where all the lightsabers are listed and there is a download your audio app. Uh, actually on the top there for you so then you uh, you can get it straight away but again i hope this has helped and uh, if you have any questions please leave them in, in the comments below i will do my best to answer them but i have provided pretty much everything i know about xenopixel in this video for you already but have a great day and thank you for watching